Okay, fellas, uh, now we're going to talk about one of my favorite things. Maybe I say that every time. Maybe all this is my favorite. Um, I've got a problem, and it's in the vocal department. Let's, well, you probably know that already. Uh, let's take a listen to this verse. Another day I'll be running, I'll be gone, gone, gone. You won't hear my heart in a song. Okay, we're focusing on that little guy, or this little chunk here, this verse. There's two mega, mega, mega problems here. And this has been heavily compressed. We're doing rock music, and uh, anybody who tells you you're not using compressors in rock music, I don't trust them. Uh, when I saw Michael Wagner uh, putting almost 40 decibels of compression, uh, counting, um, tracking, and mixing on, on vocals, I said, oh, okay, it is okay to compress the hell out of stuff. But that does cause problems as much as it causes good things. Now, uh, take a listen again, and what I want you to notice here is what happens. We have extra guitars that come in right here, and then we're really building. He gets loud on the real take. I mean, this is the compressed um, vocal on the way in, and I think in real life, he probably with no compression, it would have went... Rrrr! And so we have to uh, re kind of recover some of those dynamics a little bit. Um, let's take a listen again. Another day I'll be running, I'll be gone. Those guitars are a little loud right now, and normally I'd probably pull those down a hair, but for now we're, we're talking vocals, and let's just assume for some reason that we have to keep those guitars up. Yeah, I have some kind of idiot client or one of them kind of deals. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab my little automation deal, and I'm going to draw it, and I'm just going to pump it up, say a decibel. And again, normally, you know, they talk about like a decibel is like the smallest thing you can possibly hear, the incremental change business. Well, that's all just, just uh, assuming that... Um, We've got a car horn, and then there's another car horn that's a, a decibel louder. Uh, can we hear the difference? Well, yes. But the problem here is we have relative um, levels in regard to these electric guitars are fighting these vocals, and um, one decibel is a crap load as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's a lot. So let's see what happens when we boost just a decibel in terms of vocal importance, vocal uh, authority. You won't hear my heart in a song. Big difference. And if you remember, I don't remember frequencies very well, but I do remember emotions quite well. I remember how I felt when it was like this. Let me just delete the dot. Look for authority here. And if we're doing a pop type of thing, which is, that's, I think we're doing rock and pop, whatever, we cannot lose that vocal authority. That's what the what the brawl wearers are looking for. Us guys kind of look for it too, we just don't want to admit it, I think. But anyway. We could live with it just like that, but but now now we want to inject some energy. The, this guy is singing his ass off. He's crazy. He's, well, he's crazy kind of a butthole if you're Newman really. Anyway, anyway, uh, but he's really into this crap, and you really, uh, oh, I keep smashing the mic because I'm throwing my arms around. Anyway, he, he's intense here. He's excited, and by keeping it down like that, there's a certain um, go-to-your-room nature to this that I don't like. I don't want that. I want it to build a little bit, and I don't really care if, he, if his vocals are maybe a little bit hair too loud in terms of whatever Hoover made that rule up. And it doesn't have to be a lot. Again, it just needs to be enough to to escalate. That's what I'm looking for. But uh, this is a part of the producing thing, and we do this when we track a lot, but also in mixing too. This is not about uh, compression ratios and frequency response. Not really. What it's about is emotions all the time. And what do I want to feel right here? Look at this as a movie. What is this scene supposed to do? Am I supposed to be sad? Am I supposed to be this? Well, the whole purpose of this little black uh, section right here for me is escalation. Kick this in the ass. We're going, all right? So, uh, nitrous oxide type of thing. So let's see what we got when we listen in context now. Song, song, happiness. It was ours, but now we've lost. So I'm going out on my own. I'm trying. Not enough. 
Uh, that's a, a good start, but it was too subtle. I want it to be an obvious, just the way it was in real life, or maybe maybe not exactly because we, we have to be compressed because of loudness and various things, tone. But uh, I want this to jump out. I want this to maybe hit the, the two-bus compressor a little hard and I have to rethink things just a hair. That's okay. Let's see. Don't stop. Not bad. Now I want to bypass this automation. Listen to listen to the whole thing once, as as what I have, and I kind of like this. And uh, I would go with this and move on. Come back to it later, maybe. Um, listen to it like this, and then we're going to turn the automation off and see what happens. So here we go with automation. Another day I'll be running, I'll be gone, gone, gone. You won't hear my heart in a song. And I could actually go louder on this uh, part here, but I don't want to make the, the chorus after it's smaller. The chorus actually has to escalate another notch, which it's not doing right now, but it will. That's another tutorial, I guess. All right, without automation now. Another day I'll be running, I'll be gone, gone, gone. You won't hear my heart in a song. Uh, it's not. It, it sounds weak. It sounds like something's missing. Uh, something anemic about that, and uh, that simply cannot happen. With the automation, it didn't sound like we automated it. Like to my ear, I didn't. When I'm listening to the song, I didn't say, "Oh, you can hear what you did there." Not that that's necessarily a bad thing either. But in this case, um, it just sounds natural with the automation on, and it sounds unnatural with it off. So, natural being defined as what the song calls for, not necessarily whatever we have to put into it. Anyway. Hope you guys like it. Bye.